Nikita had an interview for a senior data engineer position. It was around with an ML engineer. Have a nice time watching. What made you apply for this position? What are you looking forward to? I'm really interested about the real estate market. I know that uh, me as a specialist, I can help with uh, a large amount of data. And uh, with this data, uh, we can do a prediction. And it's really helpful for, for now, even when real estate is becoming more and more valuable and um, the cost is hiring and hiring uh, from from year to year and yeah it's really interesting also for me as a developer uh, to take a look on this uh, line of business and help uh, the company to grow we have a challenge to serve machine learning models have you worked with the serving data aspect on my current uh, place of work, I am working with uh, machine learning engineers. I am preparing the future tables uh, and uh, the future store. Uh, I'm using a DBT uh, to prepare the, and cleanse the data and to be sure that the quality of the data is really good. I'm doing some testing because I know your pain as the ML specialist engineer, you need to uh, feed the right data for your model. It's really important. That's why I'm using uh, some tests, uniqueness, not null, uh, accepted values. I'm using uh, grid expectations uh, framework for the maybe additional testing for the data. Uh, and I also um, do some uh, feature engineering with the machine learning uh, uh, engineers to build these features and um, create a table uh, for you guys uh, and I know how it's important for you to prove your concepts and uh, maybe uh, investigate uh, some new con concepts. I also uh, prepared for uh, our interview uh, about the possible solution and uh, possible features about the rental property and uh, buying property because I I actually don't know are you um, like uh, proposing for buy or rent a property so I did both uh, and I know what's my uh, role here uh, as a data engineer uh, what's the features uh, I can implement on my side and uh, what's the uh, feature engineering for you did your work include feeding features to a model or model training? On my side as the uh, data engineer, I am preparing and cleansing the data for uh, machine learning department. And I am building the features based on their requirements. Mm. And as a data engineer, my goal is data infrastructure for all my stuff and also the quality of the data. And um, feeding, feeding this data uh, for the model, it, it's your stuff, right? So that's why we dividing these uh, two responsibilities. I'm answering and I am uh, responsible for the data quality and uh, infrastructure prepared for you. And your, si your side is uh, feeding and uh, do some predictions. And mm -hmm. we can discuss these uh, features and or possible additional um, parameters uh, in my data for you. Uh, it's like a collaboration between you and me, and it's uh, data collection. I, I, I can, I can d highlight these points. So it's data collection and uh, integration, data processing and feature expo exploration, and data feature engineering. Sometimes I'm helping for ML deployment on AWS and using Terraform. Um, and yeah, some in infrastructure is a code, so it's good to deploy uh, the, the whole solution to AWS and it works, right? 
just one button and if it's right uh, with the right configuration that's good assuming we are getting the snapshot of our data every month what attributes show that data is good in your opinion first of all i think it's the completeness how this data is uh, filled enough and um, i think the second one could be good data distribution these things and also um, as i said before with not null values with the accepted values i can do this on the step with dbt uh, and i will check this uh, data quality uh, before i will give to you it's like a graph we can draw the figure with normal or symmetrical data distribution and we don't have no extreme values no duplicates and of course the freshness if we would like to increase the frequency of snapshots would you be comfortable creating an architecture for that as a data engineer this is my uh, primary goal to speed up the process automate the data mm -hmm. ingestion transformation and loading as soon as possible i can do that automate and uh, using some additional tools for example ci cd the right configuration with the uh, uh, best practices of devops and monitoring costs uh, for example if you're using snowflake i usually uh, do on a um, weekly basis uh, i i just draw the dashboard for myself uh, on sigma and i'm i'm like um, doing some weekly stuff with the uh, costs and reporting to the manager also um, i'm doing some security because i need to provide a right permission for the right person or the group of the employees it's possible also customers i have some experience uh, with the backend engineers and i can co easily collaborate with backend engineers and to learn um, from them about the sources of the data how can I build the data pipelines and the business logic? One of the data sources is a web scraper. The data could be inconsistent. How will you quantify the quality of such data? I'm testing uh, the data on each step. So as you know, I'm using uh, the data engineer the, uh, with the best practices I using uh, medallion architecture. Uh, that's why I, I'm having bronze, silver and gold layer. And I'm doing uh, checks on each step uh, before I'm mm, giving this data, even for uh, machine learning or just for analytical engineers uh, or dashboards. I'm creating testing on each step so I can compare raw data with transformed data. And also you can easily make sure that numbers are matching and IDs and so on. In the real world, numbers are changing. How would you check the validity of the numbers? Actually, it should be like on, con on should be on consistent change. Uh, we can define the brand of the changes and only react on the big spikes, for example. Or uh, we can work to towards and implement some monitoring and alerting system where we can like receive some notification even on telegram or something or slack and respond to these alerts and check what is going wrong or it's uh, predictable or uh, we have like big spikes uh, on the data for example the amount of the data uh, was changed or uh, significant, significantly increased or something Let's imagine that we have a table with 10 million rows and we want to extract 20,000 random rows for testing. What would SQL query look like? Think about that question more like a brainstorm. I know that uh, in Snowflake, uh, if we are using Snowflake, it's uh, the we have a ran random function um, to receive from our big table. Uh, and I did uh, that for ML also in the past. We can define the sample um, on our customer base, so it's it's not a problem. And we can also do in-memory operation to process this data. 
uh, with a big data set. Usually I am using the pay arrow. How would you do it without a cloud infrastructure? Interesting question because uh, maybe we can we can uh, random value uh, to to choose from the big data set uh, the values. Let me think. I have some solution on the uh, just plain a SQL. It could be with the where uh, clause. I can percent mark, uh, for example, ten equals to zero. It will give me uh, each right. each tenth uh, row. Or I can uh, define the primary key or ID like predefined uh, the values, and I can I can uh, receive in where clause also. For example, where ID in and the list of the values. I can also uh, check if, for example, ID will finish with uh, some specific uh, number, could be, for example, three. Uh, if ID uh, is ended by three, I will take this value. You mentioned a new column. Let's develop in that direction. Yeah, it could be, for example, window function with a row number and order by, for example, check checksum, uh, and we are taking some um, columns, for example, ID, I don't know, creation date, and maybe new ID function. And after that, we will take the random number from, from this table. For, for example, if uh, in where clause um, row number more or less, uh, oh, sorry, equal or less um, some value. For example, total multiply by 0 0.1, for example, something like this. Our data has some stratification. How can we arrange that each class has the equal representation in our sample? Uh, in my mind, I think it's important to use maybe uh, the dates, uh, because the, under the dates we will have for some under the specific dates, we will have some specific uh, property IDs or listings, and we can use different dates for get this uh, like data, and we can also use the row number, uh, for example, partitioning by state and ordering by new ID, and if the rank in the state um, less than Mm, 100, we, we will take these uh, values. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you're looking for a uh, senior data engineer and it's like me and you or uh, someone else. I'm done with my questions. Do you have questions for me? What do you think? What's the plan for the team, for the mm, data size, how it will grow for the second year, for example, following year and What's the, on your opinion, cost of the data solution? Do we need to use an open source solution or paid solution in Kubernetes? Or are you working right now with the um, coordinates for the property? Uh, what about cl clusterization the um, regions uh, with the property? Or, uh, for example, if we do some clusterization, as you said, on the special, for example, states or regions or blocks, so is it possible to improve um, the renting or selling the houses there? Thank you. Have a good weekend.